Good morning. I was waiting on the thumbs up from Facebook there. Glad y'all could join me this morning. One of my absolute favorite cups of coffee this morning. This is um Billy Hours, his Guatemalan that he does. And I've got a lot of friends that do coffee and send me a lot of coffee, but I tell you what, Billy on this Guatemalan, you just absolutely nailed it. It's good stuff. Mmm. That said, I just ordered another <laughs> more coffee from my friend Bubba Warren. Pastor Bubba's gonna hook me up. I'm gonna send some up to my up to my dad. And hopefully eventually soon we can and enjoy it and share a cup of coffee you know that's one of the best things about having the ability i like coffee i like to sit and I'll, i'm making a pot now so i finish i'm gonna go sit and drink some with a friend of mine here at work is the fact that we have the ability to just stop and tell stories it seems like we just seem to slow down a little bit and maybe it's the fact that you're stopping and hmm Drinking a little bit maybe gives you time to think about what you've got to say or time to listen to what the other person's saying. But it, it seems to encourage stories. Now, you know, if you go to any of my services, every service I start off with one thing. And I stand in front of the church and I say, what has my God done for anyone in this building this week? And I've got to tell you, if I ever got to where church was so big that we didn't have time to stop and thank God for what he's done, then I'd say we'd have to divide the service or divide the church or something. Because that is my favorite time of the week, to stand up there and ask that question. What has God done for anyone in this building this week? It's that time of testimony. Testimony is just a short story. We, we share what God has done. You know, a lot of us are wondering now how we're going to get kids back into the church or the young adults back into the church. And we can do this and we can do this and we can put on water slides or apparently the thing you have to do is turn the lights down real low and put purple lights up or I don't know, whatever you're supposed to do. But you know what I think we need to start to th looking at is that I think that we need to start sharing our stories with these younger people. I, th I think we need to let them know why do we come to church. If you go to a restaurant, I tell you, you know why I go to a certain restaurant or why I never go back to a certain restaurant on the negative. But the main thing, if I find somewhere I like to go, I'm going to share it with you. I'm going to tell you why. Or if I have a vacation spot, you're going to ask me, well, why do you like to go there? I'm going to tell you the things about it. I'll tell you what it, it has been the, the thing to pick my soul up or pour into me. Well, church is the same way. I think we as the older ones in the church need to start sharing our stories of what church life and the fellowship of other brothers and sisters has meant to us i think we need to start doing a better job of um i hate to say selling but it's selling it's marketing i talked to a pastor yesterday somebody asked are you in politics said, we're all in politics we're all getting a message out is what we're trying to do i want us to start and start in the comments here and i want us to start going forward i want to start looking at that whole thought of what has god done for you and if you want to phrase it in what has the church done for you, or what has the congregation done for you, or what has the life of fellowship done for you, then let's do that. Let's start sharing that. Let's start being able to encourage others to come where we are, because we know what it has done for us, the benefit that it has done for us. Let's start sharing that. I don't think we share that nearly enough. So start today. Put that in the comments. What has attending church or what is your life in christ what has it done for you i think we need to start being a little better job of um, being missionaries emissaries ambassadors of christ i think that's where it's going to start jesus told us out and he told us to go out and he said you know what i want you to go and i want you to make disciples i want you to start teaching those you're going to be able to teach but the best teachers in the world have a passion. Do you have a passion for what you're teaching? Do you have a passion to encourage them to come and interact with you? What are your stories? Why why do you go to church? How about that? I'll make it real short. Why do you, why do you go to church? I think that's the way we're going to be able to attract this next generation. I came across a scripture this morning in Joel chapter 1 verse 2 the b portion and the third verse this is joe 1 and it says this has such a thing happened in your days or in the days of your fathers 
tell your children of it, and let your children tell their children, and their children to another generation. Wow. It sounds, we need to tell these stories. If not, they'll die with us. It's kind of like your grandmother's biscuit recipe or, or whatever. We need to start putting these into the next generations before we lose them. Let me pray for you this morning. Lord God, I pray for those in the sound of my voice. I pray for my friends, Lord God. Help us, me included, be more encouraged to share our stories of what the church has done for us, what our life in Christ has done for us, what our fellowship with fellow believers has done for us. Lord God, let us be more bold in our approach as we go forth into others. For God, God, we're doing this to be able to encourage them to come into us because we want them to be able to share in what you have for us. Lord God, I pray your health upon them, that you hold them within your hand, Lord God, and give them the courage and the boldness to be able to share their stories with someone else today. Jesus, now I pray. Amen. All right, look, y'all are great. Y'all are super. Y'all are fantastic. Y'all are awesome. You know all these things, and you also know God loves you, but don't you forget, I love you too. I'm here for you. Y'all have a wonderful day.